What's up, everybody? Coach Brian here, criticalbench.com. I am with Iman here, and we are going to be going through a lower body workout using dumbbells. All right, so we're getting warmed up. We're getting ready to have some fun. Um, so we got a couple things written down of what we're going to be doing for a lower body workout. All dumbbells, we got a couple different circuits, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what we're doing here in just a moment, but we're getting warmed up. We're getting those glutes ready. We're getting those quads ready. Let's cross the leg, get those hips stretched out. So what we're going to be doing is all dumbbell work all the time for the next, uh, for the next full workout. All right, so if you want to do some straight leg kicks, Now, if you don't have access to a, like a turf like we have here, get on a treadmill, get on an elliptical, get on a stair stepper, get on a rower, do some basic dynamic movements. You don't have to walk like we're doing. I like doing some skips. I get the legs primed, ready to go. So just like some nice little cherry pickers. Because what we're gonna be doing is, we got some dynamic movement coming up. Uh, We'll pick up the intensity. We'll do some side shuffle. Same thing on the way back. That's good. Karaoke. You know that one. It's been a little while. All right, same thing on the way back. Good. Do some high knees, like quick little steps. Good. Butt kickers or heel kicks. All right, it doesn't have to be crazy. Just enough to get the heart rate up. I like going over to the wall, doing some leg kicks. <sighs> Try not to pull a muscle here. That would be no bueno. Five to 10 is good. The main thing with warm ups, everybody, is I know so many people, as a strength coach, they suck on their warm ups. The warm up is the most crucial part of the exercise, of their workout, of their training. Well, maybe. Recovery might be just as important. But if you have a crappy warm up, you're going to have a crappy workout. I'm, I'm all about efficiency. So you need to be efficient as possible through the warm up. You don't want to waste time. You don't want to go into your workout and still feel like you're warming up. Like people, they always want to do like a warm up set on the bench or a warm up set with squats. Like if you warm up properly, you don't have to warm up. So let's get, just got to make sure you warm up properly. All right, I know these aren't dumbbells, what you're seeing right now, but I, you can't neglect the glutes. You can't neglect muscle activation. Throw them on the ankles. We're gonna do some side steps here, wake those glutes up. All about muscle activation. We'll count out 10 steps. Ooh, this band is uh, nice and tight. Oh yeah, this band is definitely tight. Ha! <laughs> Ah, oh, that hurts. All right, let's go. <sighs> Monster walk snacks, you know these guys? Zigzags. So start out Y. Now you're saying these idiots are not using dumbbells. But if you're warming up with dumbbells, you're an idiot. So, ah! Like I said, the warm up, it, it, warm up's gonna suck, but we're doing it right. You need to do it right too. Let's go backwards. Same thing, and then we're moving on. All right, backwards. Ah. There we go. Almost there. All right, take those stupid things off. I'm warmed up. Your warm up needs to be uh, painful. 
All right, so what we've got going on, we've got, we're gonna go do some strength and then we'll do some other fun stuff. I always love starting off with some deadlifts, some squats. The cool thing is you can do deadlifts and squats with dumbbells. You don't have to use a barbell. We're gonna bounce back and forth. She's gonna do some goblet squats. I'm gonna do some deficit deadlifts. Our format is gonna be three sets, 10 reps. She'll knock out a set of 10. I'll knock out a set of 10, we'll flip flop. We'll just keep flipping and flopping. Obviously, the way you choose your weight, the rule of two applies. If you choose two reps, or if you choose 10, uh, a weight that you can do 10 reps, but you can easily do 20, it's too light. So go heavier. Again, you're trying to get some strong legs here. So I'm warmed up, I'm gonna go right. I'll start on the deadlifts, you start on the goblet squat. All right, so I can't remember what I did last time, but might as well. Ugh. All right, so I got deficit deadlifts here. She's got those squats, 10 reps. So the reason why you wanna lift the feet up on that one, so you can actually get the dumbbell lower, you can go to a deeper position. Now let's say you're not comfortable doing either one of those positions. Adjust your foot or your feet. Go a little wider, point the toes out a little wider. Your body will let you know what's comfortable. Now if you've got any type of injury or underlying issues and you're like, I just can't physically get into this position, maybe it's best that you improve on, improve, work on improving your mobility and then progress towards doing some lower body exercises. Because not everybody can do a squat or deadlift properly. All right, let's get another set. And we're probably resting about minute, minute and a half for each exercise. Our goal right now is just to get strength going. We're not worrying about muscular endurance. We're not worrying about metabolic conditioning. We just want to get strong, get in a good workout. Now let's say your gym doesn't have a 100 pound dumbbell, but I'm sure it's got two 50 pounders. Double it up, no difference. Obviously you can't hold it by the actual bell of it, but you can hold from the handles. So you be creative, figure it out. Good.
Yeah, that takes care of the first round. Definitely felt good. All right, rest when you need to. If you gotta take an extra minute, grab some water. We'll get ready for the next set coming up here in just a moment. All right, so for the second circuit, I'm gonna be doing some box jumps with dumbbells. Um, she's gonna be doing some body, or not body weight, just some squat jumps with dumbbells. She's gonna do like the beginner's version. I'm gonna be doing the more advanced version. Obviously, box jumps with dumbbells might seem like, yeah, you're probably gonna post like, oh, that's, you're, that's a bonehead move, you're gonna get hurt. Not really, I mean, it's, <laughs> if, you, if you know anything about science, it's not a bonehead move. It, talks, it just talks about, you know, you gotta make sure you know what you're doing. So if you can't do these, or you don't want to, or can't, or whatever, do what she's doing, box or um, squat jumps with dumbbells. We're, I'm gonna go for five reps because this is more taxing on my body. She's gonna knock out 10. She's gonna keep the dumbbells by her side. We're going for nice explosive power. So, holding weights in your arms totally takes the arms out of the equation. You can't counter move. You have to rely on those legs to get a workout in. Now, I like to rest a little longer and not really do sun circuit training when you do uh, any type of explosive movement with resistance. You gotta rest. So, um, I've got 15 pounds here. If you want to do lighter than that, that's fine. Even five pounds, you're still holding some weight. So it doesn't matter which way you land on the box. I mean, I'll, it, it really doesn't. Just make sure you're landing firm. All right, so you got another set of 10. I'll get another set of five. Now notice I'm stepping down off the box. Don't jump down. That's a bonehead move. That's so much harder than it really looks. Yeah, people can be like, oh, I can do like a 48 inch box jump. Yeah, but it's all talking about hip flexion. They can get their legs up here and their head moves here. If you wanna get a high vertical jump, if you wanna get explosive power, if you wanna be fast on your sprints, weighted plyometrics or weighted box jump, step jumps. You know, even with the weighted vest is another good option. All right, one more set. Here we go. So, moving on to a little more isolation stuff next. Oh man, those quads are they're burning. All right, so we're getting ready for the third and final circuit for the lower body. Dumbbells, we've got Bulgarian split squat, one of my favorite exercises. If you've never done this exercise, you're a fool because this is probably one of the best quad developer movements you can do. All right. We're still knocking out 10 reps, five per side, going a little heavier. Don't lose your balance there. seconds, catch your breath. It's an awesome exercise. Oh, there's the lightheadedness. That's what you want. We're gonna go to lateral lunge next. Now this thing, you can use one dumbbell, two dumbbells. I go for one. You might wanna go for two. It's all about preference. What you do, I'm gonna go for one, she's gonna go for one, but she's gonna hold two hands. I'm gonna hold it with one hand. The same thing applies. You're, the same movement is just how you wanna hold the weight. 
So lateral lunge, five per side. You can go as heavy as you want. Take your time. You can alternate sides. You can go five in a row. She's alternating. I'm staying on one side. Let your legs do the work. Don't let your back do the work. Even though you're going in a lateral movement, it's still an up-down movement. All right, finish off those hamstrings. Single leg RDL. You can use one dumbbell, two dumbbells. Again, you can do whatever you want. We're going five reps in a row. You ever see those, like those, you get started, those little ducks or like the little water beakers of like, it's usually like on an office desk or whatever. As the leg goes back, the arm goes forward. As the arm goes forward, the leg goes back. A great posterior chain movement right here. Take your time though, because it can screw with you. And if you don't have good balance on this, do what you can. So we knocked out one set. You can do two more sets, three more sets, change the weights up. You should be able to do all three exercises with the same weight. It kind of gives you a good gauge on how to you just track your progress. Like if one exercise is really easy, another one's super hard. That super hard exercise is gonna be that exercise that you need to spend a little more time on. Take your time, take your rest, get water. I mean, don't eat, go eat a sandwich and go check uh, your social media, whatever. Take your time. But the thing is, you gotta work hard. Uh, we're gonna get another set here, but I know you're gonna get another set, maybe two more, and then your legs should be done using those dumbbells. Have fun doing this circuit and you're definitely gonna see your legs grow and take you to the next level. So hopefully you loved watching us work out our lower body using those dumbbells. There's gonna be something else you're gonna find just as valuable. It's a report that I wrote, it's called the five minute glute workout. It's good, it's free, it's for you. Uh, all you need to do to get it is one of two options. Go to the video description area where I'm pointing in this corner. There's an arrow, click it and you'll see the link at the top, criticalbench.com slash glutes. The easier way, all you need to do is click this right here, give us your email, and the report's coming to you right away. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out this amazing video. Not only that, comment, suggestions, feedback, we'd love to hear from you. Share this video with somebody you know. I'm Coach Brian, this is Iman here, coming at you at criticalbench.com. See ya.